What's up, everybody? Man, that music is intense. I was getting all caught up with something and zoning out, and this is dark and twisted a little bit. Maybe not like a good sunny day track. <laughs> Let's see who's in the chat already today. Luminous Cloud was first, I see, I believe. I believe he was first. And Neo Pagan is here. What's up? Oxygen levels critical. Mike, Mikey, Mikey Mayhem. You better, you better watch yourself, sir. No mayhem in the chat today. What's up, Mike? Let's see. Anyone sure is this going off? Yes, it's going off right now. Hands in the air. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Silent State. Hello. And Stereo Decor is back. Silver Knobs is here. Vita is here. Jan Kalinowski is here. Moen. Yeah. Yeah. M O I N. And DJ Big Ben 54 from the old satellite days, the old New York scene. Fantastic. What's up, Ben? Glad to have you here. Just hanging out today. No big deal. Continuing a little bit where I left off last time. And uh, anyway, let's get down to it. What's up, everybody? Man, that I got it. that track was like intense. It was really. <laughs> It's an unreleased kind of darker techno track of mine. I should probably, I don't know. I have these tracks that just sit around and I haven't been putting too many records out. I should probably do that. Um, but enough about that. This is 343 TV brought to you by 343 Labs Music Production School in New York City and in Berlin. That's right. Yes, Berlin. I haven't been there in so long. I would love to go back. Hey, 343 Labs, send me over there. Let's do it. So yeah, you know what we do. We come on here almost every week back from a little bit of a summer break last week and um, doing my usual techno Saturdays, sometimes electro Saturdays. And, uh, you know, I teach at uh, 343 Labs. I do uh, synthesis and sound design, Ableton Live, music production in general. We do private lessons. We do mentoring. We've got our one-year program starting up. The first, uh, our first cohort of 30 or 30-something 30 students coming in here. And uh, I don't know. 10-ish, maybe more in Berlin at the same time. Uh, it's a pretty cool program. You, you, you know, you, you do. It's really good if you want to just dive in. If you got the time and the, you want to really focus and move forward. You, we pretty much taken all of our courses and some exclusive material just for the year program. And I think the for me, like what I like most about it is the mentoring part and the like, kind of working with the students and helping them move forward and checking in with them and making goals and meeting the goals and. I don't know. That part I really like. I, I like that kind of one-on-one -on -one stuff as well as the classes that we do. So if you, I don't know, want to do, know more about that, we're, we're taking applications for our next round uh, starting in January. Uh, we, you know where our links are. They're in the description. That's usually where they are, like right down here. And uh, if you want to find out more details about our year program and anything else we're doing uh, at 343 Labs here in New York or in Berlin or online. All right. Enough about that. I, I promised I'd be confirming and announcing when the next the feedback session is happening. And I am very glad to say that we have Sync24, good old Phil, good old guy with baseball cap and beard, just like me, has a great electro label called uh, Cultivated Electronics, really excellent artist and audio engineer. He's been on the show before. So happy to have him back with me on September 23rd to go through uh, another round of your submissions. Uh, for feedback and, uh, you know, the word electro, let me just uh, underline that and put an exclamation point after it, your electro tracks. And I don't mean electro house. I mean, I suppose we could make an exception for the electro clash and new wavy sounding kind of stuff. But for the most part, we want that pure electro and electro funk. That's what we're looking for. Um, a lot of you are already in our Discord. If you're not, you can uh, check the link below to join our Discord, and there's a Selway feedback channel there. That is where you're going to submit your track uh, for our consideration. Uh, just give us a SoundCloud link or other uh, link that's playable in the browser. We're not going to be downloading like 20 tracks. We can just play them straight uh, out of the cloud. Um, any stage of... Uh, any stage, like if you're just starting the track and you want help moving forward, or if it's done and you're kind of, or you think it's done and, or you're doing your mixing or it's totally done and mastered and ready to put out into the world. And any stage of development of your music is cool. Cause we're here to like, you know, listen and uh, give you constructive feedback, constructive criticism, any help you might need to help you 
go forward and do better. And that all ties into what 343 Labs is all about. So anyway, thanks to Sync24 for agreeing to come and hang out again and looking forward to that in a few weeks on September 23rd. Nice. What are you guys talking about in the chat? Hey, Lewis. Glad to know. This is really nice. Fan of yours since the late 90s, I guess. <laughs> and one of my big influences. Really, I appreciate that. Very nice to hear that. Thank you very much, Lewis. What else we got here? Oh, David Carter, thanks so much. Make sure you support the, the shiz out of this channel. And I, yes, this is that you're doing my job for me. Thank you. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please uh, get the notifications. Please, you know, ring that bell so you know when we're going live and you don't miss out. I saw some of you saying you, you've been missing the live uh, broadcasts. Um, cool. Let's see. Wow. Gitano Parizio. Heck yeah. Great to have you here. Thank you very would you like to be a guest one day? <laughs> Reach out. That would be fun. I definitely want to like bring out some like heads, right? People have been doing me this music for a long time and know exactly what they're doing. So, you know, sharing what they know with you guys. That would be amazing. Um, what else is going on in here? Did I miss anybody? Skirmantis is back. Hey, what's up? You've been around before, right? Very nice. So I'm going to stop just sort of blabbing about how nice things are now. And uh, where are we musically? So last time uh, I was playing around with Opal and generating random patterns and, you know, just trying it out, seeing what it sounds like. Um, and captured a bunch of audio. And I figured I would go through and play around with those samples, play around with that audio that got recorded and see if I can find any little bits and pieces and make a track out of it. And a lot of the stuff it was spitting out was like pretty wonky and weird. And it was either bleepy or like noisy or like, I don't know. Cause that's what happens when you do, a lot of times when you do random generation of audio is it just goes all over the place. It depends on the limitations that you set. I didn't set any limitations. It was all just all over the place. So but that, that can be a lot of fun. Um, but then to go through and like make something specific out of it without it being totally too weird, right? Um, you know, it kind of depends on how far you want to go and how experimental you want to be. I felt like I want to do something like tight and dance floor focused uh, and uh, something, you know, sample based. And yeah, so just, uh... oh, hey, Sam, what's up? Simple Sam, glad to have you here. Good to see you. Breaky, uh, breaky electro is okay. Not, you know, that's cool. I'll allow that. Electro and breaks can definitely live together. Um, all right. So, what have I got here? I've got this groove. It's like a, a slower, groovier. It's it's in the hard groove area, but like not too banging. I could speed it up, I guess. But but yeah, the idea was take some of these weird noises, take some of these things that I sampled, that I, that I recorded, and find loops, right? So let me get rid of these break beats for a second. And this is the first one I... First thing that I chopped. And that's just a little piece out of this whole big, crazy recording. What did this go on? I think I, I did this. This isn't the one I recorded during the stream. This is what I did uh, before, earlier in the day. Um, a bunch of crazy noise in here. And really just going through and for some, some kind of rolling forward techno like this, just making real short loops is, is good. Just have it really repetitive. And that, that's a good... It's like percussion with artifacts. <laughs> Eats is like, is that a dog barking sample? I don't know, is it? No, nah, it's just weird granularized stretched chopped audio from Opal. I'm not even sure what 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 this is doing. I mean, I kind of like this like whooshy reversey thing going on. It's a little weird. 
but it could work with something. You put a hi-hat on that. It's a groove already, and it's not perfectly quantized. I mean, this is exa exactly the kind of thing that I'm, I'm thinking about, right? Not exactly what I'm looking for in this case, but anyway, I'll keep that. I'm just going to duplicate it, and let's find another one. Actually, earlier, just that simple one that was more like a clap. That's very good. It's kind of jacking. And, you know, I already have, uh, you know, EQ and compression on this just to kind of tighten it up and make it sound a little thicker. And to control some of the dynamics because it was random and they're all over the place. So I want to catch the peaks and kind of keep it under control. Let's see what else we got. All right, these are all very similar. But probably can just skip through it pretty fast. Yeah, these are all I'm done with this section. Let's 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 jump later in this long. <laughs> all right, here it's getting different. This is sounding a little this is sounding a little bit more minimized. I mean, that's cool. I could do with some syncopated chord stabs. It's a little pitched up and Blippy, glitchy sounding. That's better. It's a little less. I like that it has a little, little percussion thing going on in there. Let's put this on its own track because I want to process it a little bit differently than the other ones. I think I do. Yeah, we want a compressor. Keeping it simple just with the built-in ones. Making it peak, peak mode. Kind of tight. It's a little loose, like it's a little off and not perfectly quantized, which is cool. Um, why it grooves, I guess. I'm going to keep that one there, but what happens if we do kind of tighten it up? Oops, not good. Let's check those quantized settings. 16 notes. All right, that's a little tighter. In a way, those might be good separated because there's that little percussion sound and then there's that chord stab. Um, which is not a big deal. I've definitely done this a million times before on the stream over the last few years, but like using a really fast way to do modification of loops is just volume automation. I could also slice this up and do it with MIDI, but I'm working with audio mostly today. Duplicates. We'll do the opposite with this one. I could transpose this one. I don't know. You see what I'm getting at right here. I'm kind of dividing up this loop into little bits and pieces. Let's hear how that sounds with my drum loops. I'm good with that. Simple Sam is messing with y'all. Talking about kicking poodles. I would never do that. I'm good with this. I wonder if that works with one of these other loops. You know, that's part of it, like this kind of sample-based, rolling, hard groove-ish, 
kind of direction. I mean, again, this is a little bit later. It's not as heavy and thumping as Ben Sims or something. But like, um, I can fix that. I can make it heavier. But just starting with this, I'm focusing on layers of intricate percussive loops that have a vibe. That's what's happening. Ooh. Nice surprise. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like that loop? It's a weird noise, but it sounds like it's playing a melody. Doop, doop, doop. What if I don't want that to play twice? Like, what if I wanted to play it once per bar? All right, let's make the, the length of the loop longer. Little call, call and response there. I want to get it on the right part of the bar. First half, second half, I don't know. Me to make the sound even tougher. I don't know, put distortion on it. A little loud. What decade is it? This is definitely my formative years. This is definitely 90s. Okay, I'm older than that. My formative years were really the 80s. But as far as techno goes, the 90s is where I really sunk my teeth in and got into it. As a producer. All right, Silver Knobs has thrown down the gauntlet. We got to talk about this for a second. <laughs> Silver Knobs, HMDT, Handmade Detroit Techno, says this is house. And you're not wrong. You're not entirely wrong. But it's fast. It's fast. Okay, house can be fast. Most house with this kind of vibe, I would say, is slower. And it's definitely hybrid, right? But when did techno not have a house influence? And when did house not have a techno influence at some point? And it's not tech house. <laughs> That's not what I mean. You know, there's genre names and then there's describing the vibe, right? I feel like you can make techno that has house in it. And you can make house that has techno in it. And it can be more commercial or it could be more underground. Or it could be whatever the hell you want. But you can't just say it's house. Now, all right. If I, depending on how I construct it, depending on how I arrange it, depending on what I do with melody, if I do like vocals or a more melodic bass line. I mean, there, you're, there are, I could guide this in more of a house direction or I could guide it in a more of a techno direction. Um, this is just a loop. It could go either way. So I'm good. You know, I'm agreeing and disagreeing with Silver Knob simultaneously. Yes, it is house, but it also isn't house. And it's not even done yet. So let's, wait. <laughs> I'm thinking techno as far as energy and what I do with the raw material. So it will get more techno, I promise you. Anyway, just, all right. Now, S Sam says, if clap on two, then house. Now, there's plenty of techno that has a snare or a clap on a two and a four. All right, I mean, if that's all it takes. No clap. Is that better? Is that more techno now? I mean, I just put this cheesy loop in there just for fun because I like the little bongos, right? But like, is it more techno if I do that? It's a different feel. I mean, yeah, uh, all right, if I get rid of the chord stab and then go this, to, you know, like, how do we make it more techno? All right, I messed up the timing of this now. I don't, I, if it's house, so be it. It's Selway's house Saturday today. 
Too much harmony for techno? Ha, ha, ha. Tell that to Vince Watson. Tell Vince Watson. You guys know Vince Watson? That guy is amazing. He makes beautiful, melodic, and I don't mean melodic techno. I mean, like, he makes real techno that's musical. Dude, tell him that you can't make techno with lots of harmony and, and be real techno. Dare you. I think what I, I mean, I like this stab. Let's go back. I keep, oh, welcome. All right, there we go. We got some weird noise in here for atmosphere. I might come back to that later. I like these weird little noises that I can bring in and out. All right, I'm thinking. So many swirly weird little things in the background. Let's see if we can find, all right, I'm gonna try to find another loop to throw in here. All of this craziness here. I don't even remember what I've got. What's this guy? Oh, interesting. All right, whooshy noises, weird, weird sound effects. Okay. Oh boy, very glitchy. Like, is this gonna be useful at all? I mean, I like these sounds, but they need some processing, they need some effects, they're very mono. Sounding a little darker and weirder compared to the groove I've got going on. And there's some crazy deep low frequencies in there too. Yeah, I have to come back to these for something else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's see what these guys are doing. That's some effects and stuff. Yeah, definitely not going there. So I think the ones that I'm already kind of working with, there's a little bit more interesting stuff that's going to work. Go up in here and see what we got. Is this the cool percussion sound? What synth is this? This is one of those sections in Opal that does crazy FM, I think. All right, those are getting a little bit weird for this. But I'm gonna try. And again, just, you can get kind of daunted, like you go through this long, you know, it's however many minutes of weird noises and hearing it, you need to hear it in context, right? So limiting it down to a short loop, even just two beats. Let's see what we can discover. That's really, really noisy. We're gonna find something, I swear. I'm gonna stop that chord stab for a second so I can hear better what's going on. Yeah, so this is like adding, you know, this isn't so bad, actually. It's adding layers to the percussion. It fits with the drum loops. All right. Let's move this on into the session view. That's another thing, it's a little easier to do this over here, to go through these iterations. All right, let's find another one. Two 
similar. That's good. A little loose though. I'm going to leave it and fix it later. I think it's about to change and get really gnarly. Yep. That's a nice little zap. I don't even mind that weird kind of ripping noise in the background. Doing kind of polyelectric stuff right now. Silver Knobs likes this. <laughs> you like the weird, glitchy, noisy stuff. Is it more techno? I'm going to make it house for you. Put in a clap. That's weird. <laughs> That's wonky. I mean, it, I like it, but not exactly sure this is what I want right this second. I'm trying to be discerning here. I'm trying to make like choices, like not let it drift too far out of where I started. All right, but I am just going to, let's keep moving and uh, make sure my loop length is set to an even number as we move forward. All right, there's some crazy bass in there. I feel like these are just, this is going to be too weird to use without some serious processing with effects and stuff. As is, though, not quite what I want right now. Clicks and pops and real low frequency. All right, except for the pop, that's kind of a cool sound. I can fix it. See what I'm, I do this all the time when I'm working with these short loops is moving the start point around to change the rhythm. And it's kind of similar to that other one, isn't it? They can go together, maybe. How do we get rid of that? That snap is bugging me. Flip. Gain. I don't know if this is worth it. Put a little fade after that little, uh, after that pop there. To get rid of that. Behave, Ableton. There we go. It actually wasn't Ableton, it was my mouse, my trackpad being weird. Anyway. Not 100% sold on that one. Tried to fix it. Clear that envelope out. And we'll just keep going. I'm going to find a cool part to add, I promise. Also, do you know what'll help? What, what I did before, since it's, sometimes it has these super, super low frequencies, um, I'm just gonna cut those out a little bit and let's, let's pump it up with the compressor again. More snapping. Good, not, but for something else. Not the vibe for right now. Too loud. Really? Yeah, this whole part is real glitchy and noisy. Some weird FM synthesis stuff going on in there. All right. 
Let's jump into another part. All right, getting farty. <laughs> Just that is a good one shot. It's kind of funky sounding. I don't know if I would use it with this track. I mean, and this is a, if I start hearing one shots, I start thinking about throwing them into a sampler or a drum rack or something. Um, I mean, that would be the easiest thing to do. Come on, stay. Stay in the instrument view. Thank you. Yeah, and then I can be precise about where the start and end is, and then I can throw it in there somehow. Oh, we don't want looping. Shut that off. And we'll experiment with it. Getting, getting there. I like the groove of it. I don't know if I 100% love the tone of it. Does that even fit with this thing? Accidentally in the right key. How'd that happen? All right. Maybe. I think that's a maybe. It fits. Do I love it? Jury's out. Hello, Solange Molina. Yes, working in Ableton. This is what we're doing today. Simple Sam says, Miami glitch based squirrel funk. Except that it's with a techno on the end of it. <laughs> what happens if I make this a bar long? Ooh, that was accidentally cool, except that it's. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's the... Needs to be quantized, right? It's a little off. Maybe. That's early. Move that over. Change my uh, grid. And... And now I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel like it drags that second half a little bit. Uh, let's go back to just uh, better. Am I sold on this? Maybe just. Maybe it's, it's a little too blat blat. Let's uh, subtract of synthesis it. Make it a little more percussive, a little snappier. Give it a little, little tail. It's a little smoother sounding now. Maybe it needs 
Oh, it, oh, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't need that much 10 hertz. I'm going to do something random. I'm going to throw on this uh, J disperser. Doing some zappy stuff. Giving it some stereo phasiness. Hopefully that collapses down to mono okay. But I like, uh, it's got some atmosphere and movement now. Let's try, you know, do I want to fill it in with delays? Maybe just bright up there. Got the dotted eighth notes. I mean, just that by itself sounds kind of nice as a background rhythmic element. Pump it up a little bit more. Interesting. I like it. It sounds less flappy, farty now, a little tighter, but it still has that dirtiness underneath, which is cool. I will get back to the atmospheric stuff eventually. What's this one? That's interesting. Let's play with those a little bit. Glassy, shiny stuff. Maybe you don't want to go this way. They're interesting. Sounds like additive synthesis or modal synthesis. Yeah, modal synthesis for sure. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see what we can do though. Let's see if we can make it work. We can use our effects, we can use our tools. Oh, shiznat. Well, we're being forced to take a break since live just decided to take a dive. How's everybody doing? Let's take this opportunity to check back in with the chat while I restart Ableton. And uh, hopefully everything comes back the way we want it. I haven't had that happen to me in a long time, let alone like on air having uh, Ableton cut out just randomly. It's been... A long time i've been lucky with the, with stability i know like some people have had issues with live 11 and especially when they've did all the changes to work with the push three like there have been some things so i have a feeling it's maybe related to max for live devices that that's usually where i like you know a lot of times when i have a crash it's because something with a device just kind of bugged out so all right, I think it's back. But before I go back in there, checking out what you guys are talking about. Silver Knobs says the conga is problematic. Can you um, expand on that? What's problematic about the conga? And uh, although we may have been full well, well past that by by the time I'm noticing your comment here, um, let's see what else we get there. Eats is talking about synplant. Oh, I can't wait for.
for the new version of Simplant. Have you guys seen any of the videos that have been posted recently about Simplant 2? I cannot wait. That looks amazing. That is like, I mean, the demonstrations of the, the AI analysis of a sound and then recreating the sound very closely with a subtractive synthesizer, I mean, nuts. That's amazing. I feel like that's going to be such a good learning tool for synthesis and sound design to like see, oh, that is how you, you know, like you could take almost any sound and get somewhat close to it using this anal analysis that Simplant has, Simplant 2 has built in. You know I'm going to play with this when we get it. We're going to do this on the stream when it's available. I am so looking forward to that. What else are you guys talking about here? Mikey Mayhem wants some bass. Yeah, I know. I realize that a bass line could do it. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that out of the samples I have, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to go into using other synths and other sounds and things like that. But what kind of bass? Like a melodic bass, like kind of a stabby bass, like a droning kind of a bass, uh, just rolling sub bass or whatever like what what's going to work with this i'm curious to 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 know what you what you guys might imagine would work for bass i mean you know could i just put a bunch of reverb on the kick and rumble rumble i mean <laughs> but yeah you're I, there's a lot of the kick itself has a pretty strong fundamental like it's kind of subby in there and i don't want to like get it muddy or anything so i'll have to think about that over the next i don't know 15, 20 minutes before we call it a day today. Um, also, Sean. Hey, Sean Durain. Long orchestra stab, maybe? Maybe? And, uh, yeah, I see Simple Sam saying also uh, live being crashy. And, uh, my, yeah, Mikey Mayhem says rolling growl. Hmm. I think I know what you mean by that. So, and... Finally, Nomad James, welcome. Glad you've been loving it, that you're here live. Appreciate you, man. No, thanks to all the, all the new viewers and past viewers and regulars and everybody. And, you know, might as well say, uh, once again, 343 TV brought to you by 343 Labs Music Production School in New York City and Berlin and online. You know, we like to share our what we love to do and you can come and take classes with us at either of our locations or online. Um, you could take my making techno course. If you're a techno producer and you're or either, you're just getting started out or you just want to started, or you just want to go a little deeper from where uh, and move forward from where you are, like happy to help you. Um, we've got this, you know, six weeks online only, uh, making techno course. It is sort of geared towards beginners, but, you know, also, if you have a little bit more experience, you just want to come hang out. That's cool, too. Um, it's nice to have a variety of uh, capability and different styles and ideas to join together. So I believe we're starting another one of those in September. Um, want to know more? You know where to look. The link's below. 343labs.com and 343labs. I think it's just .de. Punct .de or whatever you say. And um, all right, enough about that. Find out all about what we do. Uh, also, if you missed it earlier, we're coming up on our next feedback session. It's an electro feedback se session on uh, September 23rd with my guest, Sync24 from Cultivated Electronics. Good guy. You can see we have similar fashion sense, the hat and the beard and everything. So, you know, old men of electro, although I I I'm older. I'm, I'm an old man of electro and techno. Enough. Old and wise, hopefully. Roughly. Sam is saying, tight percussive bass that is not much in the foreground. A lot of elements that draw the ear. Yeah, I don't think, I'm not, this isn't going to be like a bass heavy line, like a bass line track where the bass is forward. If, if I add lower frequency elements to this, it's going to be... Uh, you know, supporting the groove, working within the groove, underlying kind of the groove. So, whoa, what was that? <laughs> I'm a little concerned that, uh, all right, we don't know. We don't know if this loaded correctly. 
uh, to be honest. All right, so let's, I'm going to mute all of these uh, tracks that I recorded in the arrangement view. We're going to have to fix this now. We're going to have to see if it's working. All right, what do we got here? All right, that's there. Get that weird noise. Another weird noise. And we got that one, and then that's what we turned into this. All right, and this is one of the last things we did, so. All right, I feel like we're probably okay. I wonder, I mean, this is kind of the low end of the track right here. What should we do? I'm just going to do a sine wave. Doesn't matter what the notes are, as long as they're sort of, at least to start with, as long as they're in the right, uh, in the right octave. It's like, you know, it's like rolling, but in, it's kind of undefined. Like, I don't want it to sound like notes. I want it to sound, but I don't want it to sound like a reverb rumble either. I just want that rhythmic pulsing behind the kick drum. And I probably should play around with velocity and emphasizing. I don't even need the ones on the quarter notes. Does it work with everything else? Now is the that's the test. All right, not that. Nothing groundbreaking here. Doing a little FM to add some percussive punch to it. And again, I, don't, I don't, almost don't care what those notes are, but if you do want it to be in tune, you want to hear it. It almost is a, a, a decent melody <laughs> by itself. But down there, it just sounds like slightly rumbly, slightly percussive. If I add too much high frequency to it, it doesn't work. It's gotta be just mostly sine wave. Really narrowing that into the frequencies where I want them to be. I mean, and this is, becomes a mixing pro problem too. Like, how did, I don't know how this is going to translate. I don't know how we'll get this mix is yet. I'm not even thinking about it too much. Just a little. Do I want to make it even more simple? Break it up a little bit more. Like that, that it has a little bit more of a drop without that note. That one little note makes it more rolling. It's subtle. All right, let's keep going and seeing if it works with the other parts. It's got that, that little, that little uh, clave percussion sound in the chord steps starting to bother me now. I might end up like, just figuring out what that chord is and putting my own chord stab there, like with a, with a synth. 
Um, but you know, it's still it's got a vibe. Put in the hi hat. Nice to have you back, Ash Bat. Peter Paws is here too. Better late than never. Definitely need to work on the percussion. I'm not 100% married to the the disco samba loop. Maybe it needs some crazy effects. Maybe I need to chop it up. Maybe I need to try something different. It was just a quick, like, throwing it in there for the vibe thing. Because I wanted this to be syncopated and groovy, and that is syncopated and groovy. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do. We got to do the ubiquitous ride. That's in every techno track ever. <laughs> Now it's techno. Before it was house, now it's techno, just the ride. What are these guys? Oh, these are the weird noises. Yeah, I don't want that. That's like that zipping electric noise. Those are like the extra. That's good, actually. Just the simple percussion sound that was generated by FM Synth. I could almost have, I almost have enough parts to arrange this now, but there was one more thing I wanted to add to this before we wrap it up, and that was to put in a little vocal stab, just like a little uh, or a little like weird vocal noise, and um. But I also wanted it to be like more than that. Like, yeah, I can just slice up a little vocal syllable and or whatever. Like it's been done a million times. It is so easy. But what can I do to make it like a little extra? So using uh, using <laughs> using granular synthesis, you know, chopping it up in tiny little pieces. Um, I'm using pigments usually for this nowadays to, for my granular synth because I like pigments so much and it is a granular synth. Oh, see, because I didn't sit. This is what happened with the crash. We lost the uh, the vocal sample. Um, so oh, that I'm, should I build it from scratch again? I had it already started, and now I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know. I talked about it. I got to do it. We got to see how quickly we can make this work. So, all right, we're going to do a new preset. We're going to change this to a uh, sample. We're going to turn on granular. And then um, I'm going to put in a, an acapella from a very famous pop singer. Who, uh, and if you look really closely, you'll be able to see what it is. But I'm going to try to be not too obvious about it. And then... You can hear it's already in there. All right, you can barely hear it. All right, so I want to. I'm going to change the the envelope shape to something more on off, like quick, like like a sustained note, like tuki or trapezoid, tuki. You can see I can change the the shape a little bit there. I'm making the, the the up and down shape a little more square, right? So it's like a fast attack and a fa fast decay and a full sustain. All right, let's make the time. We make these into, you know, the grain length. Each grain is going to be like a 16th note or so. And then we're randomizing the start a little bit. This is just the default, right? All the slices are going to be forward. And let's try to make this so you can actually hear it. You hear what it's doing, right? 
it almost sounds like it's not a voice. It's taking different grains and overlapping them and phasing them. If you zoom in there, you can see that the gr those are the grains, those little white spikes. You're hearing just different little bits of the sample at different times. I, I promise it sounded better earlier when I before the crash. It, <laughs> I had it sounding cool. That's a little bit, it's a little bit too much now. I had it more like popping. But... All right. Not exactly how I wanted it to end. Um, Right, this is gonna take a little bit more work to get it dialed in. But anyway, I was just trying to do that little percussive vocal stab thing, but with a little extra flavor because it's granular. Or just weird, like that's more noisy and weird. It's getting there. It's going to take me a little while to get that, but you, you see the idea, right? So it is just almost two o'clock. Let's wrap things up. I feel like, you know, we did what we set out to do here, which was take some of these weird noises that uh, were generated last week for the most part using Opal. If you guys missed the, 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 the show last week, of course, it's... Uh, archived and they even already three for three labs made a little clip uh, out of part of it they made an edited version of it which is one of the newer videos on the channel you can see that you know a little bit more about opal and what that does it's max for live device and i was just using that to generate weird noises and weird uh, sequences and noises and percussive patterns and things like that and then today was uh going further with that idea refining some of the elements that it came up with and you know this whole process could have just as easily been done with loops out of a sample library, right? But in this case, it's loops that I generated or patterns that I generated myself randomly. So no one else has them. They have their own flavor. And, uh, you know, not from like a from loop cloud or from splice, like some, you know, the same old loops that everybody else has, right? So uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out today. I can't believe we had that crash, man really threw off the ending where I was going to this last uh, vocal glitchy thing was sounding a little cooler I, I, uh, about an hour ago. So to everybody who was, who's here, who, let's go backwards. Nomad James, Simple Sam, Sean Rain, Itzy, Peter Paws, Acid Bat came in late. We got Mikey Mayhem. Glad you're here today. Glad to have some old school people around. Silver Knobs H. MDT, we had a little discussion about if it was house or not. And as you can see, I'm trying to make it weird. I'm trying to make it more techno. Uh, all right. Uh, who else is still hanging out? Solange. Hank Schrader, yes. Who else? Ty Blue. Very cool. Nice to have you here. Um, I won't go all the way back to the beginning. Of course, we had... Uh, Luminous Cloud, as usual. Thanks for being a regular. All the regulars, thank you. All the new faces. All the new names, I mean. I'm not, it's not like I'm seeing you. I'm the only face here. And uh, one last time, check out our uh, info and join our Discord and um, electro feedback session. <laughs> uh, September 3rd. I'm sorry. September 23rd with uh, Sync24 from Cultivated Electronics gonna have a good time so that's what three weeks away plenty of time to be ready join the uh, discord get in the subway feedback channel and post your submission there and that's it enjoy your week see you next time adios